Hey good people in today's video I am going to share some tips with you on some items that you can start off with in your kitchen uh, when you're transitioning over to this lifestyle. I mentioned to you before that you will be introduced to the kitchen and so I'm going to give you a list of those items. I'm also going to share with you where you can find those items and although we do quite a bit of shopping online we do have a lot of luck finding items in stores and maybe you can tell behind me. See that? This is Goodwill. So there's some secondhand shops, thrift stores, Goodwill stores that you might not have thought about when it comes to finding some of these things. So I'm going to share with you some of what we've been able to find as well as what they have and show you some savings that you can make. Okay? So keep watching. Following are the top 10 items we use the most in our kitchen for convenience that you can find on any budget to help you along your cooking journey. Blenders. So I'm starting out with blenders because they're perfect for making smoothies, blending sauces like tomato sauces and dressings, but they're also great for turning your grains into flours or cereals. Now there's the traditional blenders, cup blenders, stick blenders, and combo blenders available. We like to use a combination of most of these. It's just up to your preference. Just look out for high powered blenders that are at least 700 watts to get the job done. As you can see, it's possible to find a variety at the thrift store and none of these items pictured were over $10. Food processors. Next up are food processors. These are great for chopping, slicing, mixing, and grinding, as well as making dough. They're also great for maintaining more texture to your foods, while the pulse feature usually found on these come in handy at preventing over mixing. Food processors come in a variety of sizes. Just consider the quantity you're preparing to help you decide. Smaller choppers do work out well and some are manual, which are helpful if you lose power. We currently use a 14 cup processor by Cuisinart like this one, which has a 720 watt motor. And for perspective, this one was smaller, had 700 watts of power and Thai easily grinded kamu grains down for cereal. So they can be pretty powerful in many sizes. Starting off with one from a thrift store can help you get familiar with them and the nice part is that you can do it for a fraction of the cost. Juicers. These appliances can easily extract juices from your fruits and vegetables and are super helpful if you're detoxing or doing liquids only. They help to get out powerful nutrients leaving behind the bulk or fiber that you can save for later use with other recipes. Now there are several types of juicers such as centrifugal which are most common, you have your citrus juicers, masticating or cold pressed juicers, as well as slow pressed juicers. You'll definitely want to do a bit of research up front to learn about the varieties of juicers out there to help you decide where to start. I'd say start with simple and go on from there. We've used most of these varieties of juicers and each have their strong points. The best thing is that we bought them at secondhand shops and were able to try them out at reasonable prices. Many items are actually new, while others have plenty of life left in them. Bread machines. Although you can bake a nice loaf of bread using a loaf pan, having a bread maker is such an amazing convenience. We sold the one we had years ago, but it's a good thing we found a couple of nice ones at the Goodwill. This has been a huge time saver for us. As always, there are bread machines. That's $8. That's 8 How much is that one? 8 8 See, you can make your own bird. Coffee grinders. I added these since they're most helpful in grinding root herbs down to a powder. I've also used them to make tahini butter, and overall they're convenient for grinding smaller quantities that may not work out well in a cup blender. The ones here were pretty cheap, like three, four, and five dollars. Not bad at all. Sharp knives. So I know most kitchens have knives, but since we use them quite often, I just wanted to emphasize the knife should be sharp and sharpened regularly. Sharp knives are actually safer since they cut easier than dull knives, which can slip and well, you know the rest. Unless you come across a great brand in a secondhand shop, I recommend purchasing knives new. Costs can range from a dollar at the dollar store to super expensive, but keeping whatever you choose sharp is the key here. I also suggest using a cutting board to protect your surfaces. Baking sheets. We've used baking sheets for many, many years, and once we started preparing more meals at home, having several of these on hand has been one of the best conveniences we have in our kitchen. The aluminum ones can be used with parchment paper, which is nonstick, and the silicone mats are great for baking as well as a surface for flouring and kneading dough. Mixers. Our stand mixer gets a lot of use and it's especially nice when you're whipping something up. They usually come with attachments, so it's a great investment for your kitchen. Now you don't have to break the bank, there are other types of mixers that can deliver at any budget. 
You have those that come with attachments, electric hand mixers, old, old school manual hand mixers, and even your traditional whisks. We've seen all varieties at the thrift store, so you never know what you might find. Pasta makers. So if you're not new to my channel, you already know I'm in love with my pasta maker. It's been one of the most empowering appliances for us as we can control the ingredients and produce lots of pasta quickly. Although this type of pasta maker is an investment, there are other options available at any budget to trim down your time in the kitchen. We've spotted most of these at secondhand shops, so check early and often. Pots, pans, and cookware. You'll definitely need pots and pans to cook in, and what we use in our kitchen includes a variety of stainless steel, copper, cast iron, ceramic, and glass cookware. We also use silicone, which is nice because it's non-stick, along with the copper, ceramic, and glassware. When bargain hunting, you may look up on finding a deal on any of these in a thrift shop. However, don't forget about searching your local classified listings and apps like Craigslist as well as yard sales. Other stores like TJ Maxx, Ross, and some grocery stores carry them at reasonable prices too. Some of the deals out here are insane. Glasswares. So I wanted to put glassware into its own category specifically because there's so many items you can use that are made of glass, which are also healthy alternatives to harmful types of plastic. This of course includes the pots and pans, and it also covers bakeware, mixing bowls, drinkware, storage, and measuring tools. We've switched out a lot of plastic for the glass, and certain types of glass are great for prepping to freeze. Just be sure to check that the glass is freezer safe beforehand. There's a lot of good quality glassware out there in secondhand shops for pennies on the dollar. Most of what we see are top name brands with just about everything under $5. Don't forget to check the dollar store as well. And here's more of what we found for both options. So here's a glass bowl and lid for $3. One is $1.99. Put oil in those, beads in those, and storage for those. But wait, there's one more. Okay, so although we use this more for traveling, I wanted to mention that slow cookers are a great convenience to have around, especially if you want to save time. These are great for soups, stews, preparing grains and rice, especially the ones that require more cooking time. We've seen a variety of styles and sizes of crock pots, cookers, and steamers, so I definitely know you could find one at a great price. Taking one along for short trips or even a smaller one to the office for reheating your food can be a big help while saving your precious time. Among the many items we snacked from the thrift stores, one was this slow cooker, which works like a charm. This is like a crock pot. How much is this? Six bucks. So there you have it, the top 10 kitchen items we use most often that helps us save time in our kitchen, most of which we've seen in thrift stores under $10. I hope you're inspired to check your local secondhand shops, classifieds, and yard sales because you can try out and use so many things that have lots of life left in them at a fraction of the cost. I appreciate you hanging out with me and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.